As for Rose, he just turned 25 years old, but this is a second major knee surgery now for a young player. By all accounts, this particular surgery, repairing the meniscus as opposed to removing it, is better for his long-term health and his long-term career. But you've got to ask, how concerned are you about his ability to ever return to an MVP kind of form? I think you get very concerned, Matt, because the way Derrick Rose plays with explosion and getting to the rim and getting to the paint and put so much pressure on the defense, now you wonder mentally, will he be able to fight to get back to that stage of being an MVP and having that comfort level of saying, I can take my man off the dribble and be like I once was? There's no way that uh, you could sit up here and disagree with Coach Thibodeau in terms of his team and having quality depth but it's the type of depth that they had last year as opposed to this year and the way the team was constructed 3D to bring in guys who spread the floor a little bit and not have the firepower of Nate Robinson off the bench, the playmaking ability of Marco Bellinelli coming off the bench. We know Jimmy Butler's still out with that turf toe and that this team defensively can still hold its own. But on the offense, there's nobody there to create what it is they need to do between Kirk Heinrich and Mike Dunleavy to put pressure on defenses every night out there. So as good as the defense can be, I don't know how this roster appears like last year's roster. It's just not the same guys. Even though they went through it last year, it's not the same team. How much is now riding on Kirk Heinrich's shoulders to carry this team? A lot's going to be on his shoulders, and at this point in his career, he's not that same guy when he first came out of Kansas where he can make shots and really create for others. Let's keep it honest. But he's still a solid defender. He still is a, a great ball mover. He can initiate the offense, but I'm just not sure you're asking that man to do too much for his career right now, Brent. And you think about the way that the Chicago Bulls could create offense with Derrick Rose, like you talked about, 3D, an attack first point guard, a guy that caused problems with his penetration, using his physical abilities to make things happen. The Chicago Bulls just do not have that this year. I mean, this is the type of play that Chicago was starting to get used to again as Derrick Rose was trying, trying to find his form this year. A quick rebound, a quick outlet, playing against the 76ers. He's attacking the first defender and a, and a secondary defender coming down. And look, he's beating four of his offensive guys down the court, two of which are barely getting over half court, one not even there. So Derrick Rose goes in, this happens to be a turnover, but that puts pressure on your defense. So what Chicago got to be about now, they've got to be about execution. They've got to use these guys. They've got to move the ball side to side and create opportunities with their motion. Simple things like baseline out of bounds plays where Gibson goes over to Heinrich. Heinrich gets dang on the post here. So now you've made the defense and a great defense in Indiana shift to one side of the floor. And on the opposite side, you have good action here. It's a pin down by Taj Gibson after the pass, freeing up Mike Dunleavy. And you're working from where the purple area is, the strong side of the floor, attacking the weak side. Great pump fake, pump fake there. Copeland gets in the air. Mike's able to knock down the jump shot. Again, another half court possession, Matt, where they're going to have to create opportunities with execution. Taj Gibson on a rip screen here on Mike Dun Dunleavy on the UCLA cut. He's going to rip through to create space underneath. And then Taj Gibson's going to continue out to Kirk Heinrich, a second pick on the ball to try and create some space on the left side of the floor there where you see the spotlight. Mike, with his action over there, you have to pay attention to him as a shooter coming off. Kirk delivers on time, on target. Great move by Taj Gibson. That patience, patient offense is what the Chicago Bulls are going to have to be about combined with impeccable defense in order to try to pile up wins. But they've got to get over this thing with Derrick Rose as quick as they can. can I through. agree. And Coach Thibodeau talks about playing to those strengths. He has to coach to those strengths as well. So now you have to run more pin downs to get Dunleavy going to get your offense that you need.